Peace, family. It's your brother Larry, and this video right here is long overdue. Today, we're going to see if we can make quality prints at home that are comparable to the prints that we can get from outsourcing. Y'all interested in that? Stay tuned. So let's go over the constants. I will be using the Epson ET8500 as the printer, and the company I've always used for my prints is Cat Prints. I normally use the 80 pound light call stock. If you're interested in cat prints at all, you can check out my personal video review of the company by just clicking on the card above. The papers I'm printing on is Epson's own 52 pound glossy photo paper, as well as a 67 pound card stock that I found at Walmart. Now, if you're gonna use an Epson printer, their app is excellent. Using the Epson Smart Panel app on your tablet or phone is going to yield better results than the computer's native printing app. Now there is also a print layout app, but I don't think that's necessary. Now with all of that out of the way, it's time to print. So for the first trial, we will be using Epson's 52 pound glossy photo paper. Set the printer to glossy and set the app to photo paper glossy on standard quality. I have to say that these prints came out great. Great saturation, great color, definitely sellable. I would even say better quality than the ones from Cat Print. Now for the three remaining trials, we're gonna use the 67 pound car stock from Walmart. For the second one, we set the printer to thin, plain paper, and the app to thick paper, 0.61 to 0.80 on standard quality. Now the prints from this trial look pretty bad. The colors washed out and faded, not really sellable, maybe usable for like a flyer or a pamphlet at the best. For the third trial, let's set the printer to envelope, set the app to envelope as well, and on standard quality. Now these actually came out a lot better. Better saturation, not as fuzzy, probably sellable with some more tweaks on the software side. I definitely believe that with more knowledge of the printer and the app, that the same quality that Cat Prince gives on their 80 pound car stock can be achieved with the 67 pound car stock from Walmart. Now I'm gonna be honest with y'all, after that last trial, my curiosity got the best of me. This time, I set the printer for premium semi-gloss and the app the same, then set the quality to high. But I still use that 67 pound car stock from Walmart. Now, these came out the worst in the bunch, but this is just showing you how much the settings can affect the print quality. Now here is a side-by-side -side comparison of the full trials. Please pause the video if you need to take a closer look. So to wrap the video up, it can be done. And I know that I gave y'all regular paper size prints to compare to the larger prints from Cat Print, but I do have the smaller variant of the printer. There's an ET for EcoTank, I think, 8500, which is the one I have, and there's an 8550, which is a larger one. The 8550 can actually print up to 13 by 19 prints. So you can actually get the 12 by 18 prints and put them side by side like the ones that care print. I should put this disclaimer out here in case y'all do want to dabble y'all selves. Be sure to read y'all printer manuals and make sure that you're buying the proper paperweight for your printer. Because if you buy a bigger paperweight, it's not gonna work. Your printer gonna get jammed, you're gonna end up with bunching up, you might lose a lot of ink, you might have to send it back to the manufacturer. So please read your manuals before you buy paper. Paper is expensive, let's not waste money here. The one final thing that I would like y'all to consider is the fact that just because you can do something doesn't mean you should do something. Like these things have a cost. The printer cost, the paper cost, the ink cost. And depending on the size of your scale of your project and how often you're gonna be printing, it still might be more economical to just outsource. Yo, this EcoTank technology is crazy by the way. I've had this printer for three months and I think these levels barely moved. Now, if you would like any more information that I did not cover in this video, be sure to let me know in the comment section below. Outside of that, man, leave me a like on the way out, and I'll see y'all in the next one, man. This your brother Larry. Lay it on.